So instead of uh, doing a, a video, a recorded video, I'm just going to go live to show this. It's just going to be a super duper quickie. And I'm going to try and <laughs> try to take off a piece of watercolor paper. Hello. That was difficult. But anyway, so last night when we were playing around with the avocado, there was obvious some changes on some and not on others. But I wanted to show you guys um, the dramatic difference, leaving it overnight. All right. So the neutral one that we started off with was very light these didn't hardly change at all from the neutral ones but just this sitting out it hey ali it got a little bit darker just sitting over so remember now when i left it a, a whole week it really um got super dark so this is like 24 hours in the jar all right now, look at what happened to the rest one. Hi, Amy. Look what, look how cool that one came out. And I just wanted to show you guys real quick before I take these all apart and start playing with a large quantities. Of course, the lemon didn't do anything. We already came to that conclusion. The lemon, we didn't like with the, what the acid did, obviously, to the dye. And that cream of tartar was a total loser too but look at these the rust and the baking soda obviously look at that <laughs> so i just wanted to let you guys know what it ended up looking like so you can decide if you like just the normal that we you know normally get or if you want to go with, let me put this over here by the rest. That's what the rest did. And, and here is what the baking soda. Look how, woohoo. Baking soda and, oh. I didn't put the other fabric in there. Oh, well, I thought I put them both in there. I didn't. So needless to say, look at that. And then if I put it on the paper, let me, I know I have one of those droppers. What did I do with it? Ha, ha, ha. I thought I had one. Uh-oh. Oh no, what did I do with that? See, even when I'm not prepared, I'm really not prepared. I wonder where I put it. Oh well, let me just use a little brush to put some little dots down of the color. And that way, you guys can decide what you want to do. All right, so. This is the neutral one. All right. Let's do the light ones first. Okay, so that's the lemon one. I'll do it in order. That way I can write down a little bit later what it actually was. And there's the vinegar. And that yucky cream of tartar. Oh, my gosh. See, it's hardly no change in all three of those. But then let's mix that up. Let me get the rest. And we can really see the difference on there. Hi, Sherry. And the baking soda. All right, so humongous difference. And what I'm going to do with this little batch, I'm going to turn it into some ink. 
and because uh, I like how that looks. I like that color. And I might even do the rest one and put it in a little bottle and play with, with that later on on some paper or something. So that's really all I wanted to show you guys. So I can dismantle all this stuff and start and start um some some dyeing. Ta da <laughs> hey Janice. <laughs> So pretty dramatic, right? From, do I have another little piece? What did I do with those? Did I put them here? Oh yeah, here they are. Hello. So here was, yeah, you can really see the difference. These were, this was the neutral. Hey, I wasn't sure if you were busy. I just thought I'd let you know what we're doing. <laughs> so this was the neutral one. It didn't do all that much at all. But you remember, we didn't leave it very long. So it was kind of hard to judge that. So that was the neutral one. And when we just dunked it in there and didn't leave it overnight, um, there was just a slight change on the rust. So the key with these is when you're dealing with specifically these two on the avocado, the air naturally, I guess, oxidizes it. So you would want to leave it in there. Don't just, you know how sometimes we do the avocado paper, we just kind of dunk it and pull it out. Mm, not so much with this. And I haven't even heated these up. So you can imagine how dark these would get if I, when I do the batch later on this afternoon, I'm going to heat it up and woohoo, who knows what it's going to look like. So that is the update, ladies. Short and sweet, but I think very effective. What do you guys think? Hey, Miss Doodles. So I hope you guys try it. Remember, baking soda and rusty water or iron, whatever you have. That's it, ladies. That's all I've got. Have fun. I didn't want to leave you on the alert, you know, not knowing what happened, but there you go. Pretty cool, huh, Susan? Oh, Good night. The dog, the dog has an opinion. <laughs> I don't know where the cat is, but the dog has an opinion. I don't know. I'm in a meeting with people. Yuck. Okay. All right, ladies. Have fun. Bye. Go get your avocados and have some guacamole. <laughs> okay. Later on. Bye.